एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी आई एम अनमोल भाटिया एंड वी आर लर्निंग द टॉपिक बेसिक्स ऑफ फिटिंग this is the second part of the video in the first part of the video we have learned about the basic tools which are used in the fitting shop in this part of the video we'll continue the same topic and we'll learn the other categories of the tool that is used in the fitting shop if you want to have the conceptual clarity on the topic you can refer to the book by s chan publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below let's start the video on basics of fitting which is the second part of the same topic this topic is included in the course manufacturing practices in the previous part of the video we have learned the three categories of the tools which are used in the fitting shop now in this part of the video we'll be learning the other three categories namely the cutting tools the finishing tools and the striking tools which are used in the fitting shop let us understand the cutting tools now so cutting tool as the name is suggesting that this is a tool which is used to cut the given specimen with respect to the given dimensions the the material that we can use in the fitting shop generally is mild steel and the cutting tool is the hacksaw hacksaw is the cutting tool that we majorly use in the fitting shop so hacksaw is used for cutting the rods bars pipes it basically consists of a frame which is made up of the mild steel and this hacksaw is classified in two categories one with a fixed frame and another with the movable frame let me clarify this concept with the help of that diagram that i have taken from the book by s chan publishing this is an example of the fixed frame in which the frame is being fixed on the hacksaw but if you want to adjust the frame you can have this adjustable frame uh part on the hacksaw so these are two classification one is with the fixed frame or the solid frame and another is with the adjustable frame then we have the fifth category which is the finishing tool so finishing tool is used to remove the material from the surface of the work piece in order to get the high surface finish so once we have cut the material or once we have obtained the uh removed material so we want to press process that material uh with the help of these finishing tools in order to obtain the high surface finish and these surface finish uh is obtained with the help of a file and the general categorization of the file is as follows we can have the flat file a square file triangular file a round file half round file and a needle file to name a few so let us understand the details of all these files one by one one is the flat file so flat file as the name suggest that it is used to remove the material from the rectangular cross section so if the uh, cross section of the surface is rectangular so we can use a flat file in order to finish the surface so this cross section is indicated in the side view of the file so this is a case of flat file and this case is generally for the rectangular cross section then you have square file and these square files are used to remove the material from the inside corners which are at the right angles so generally you will come across certain uh, components which are Uh, combined together at the right angles so in order to remove the material from the edges which are at the right angles so we use a square file in order to uh, finish the component then we have a triangular file as the name suggest so triangular file is used 
for the components which are at the inclined position and we want those inclined position to be linear now so in order to make them linear we can use this triangular file the cross section that you can see on the surface in uh, the side view is triangular so it has a triangular surface that's why it, it is named as a triangular file then there is an aspect which is called as a round file another category so as the name suggests uh, in case of a round file what happens the cross sectional surface is circular and that is used to remove the material from the circular components so if you have circular components and you, you want to remove the material from the circular components let's say the cylinder is to be finished and you want to remove the uh, material from the rounded corners so for that you need to use this round file similarly for the half round file the cross sectional surface is half round as it is shown in the diagram so this is semicircular and this is used to remove the material from the semicircular cross section components and lastly you have the needle file so needle file is in the form of needle and that is used to remove the material from the keyhole cross sections so there are certain components which are made as a keyhole so in order to remove the material from their keyhole surface we use this swiss file or the needle file then the last category of the tool that we need to look for is the striking tool as the name suggests this tool will strike on the surface of the workpiece so as the name suggests that this is the tool which is used to strike or hit the workpiece by the application of an external force so majorly we apply external force with the help of this striking tools and category wise if i divide them so these are cross pin hammers the claw hammers and the mallet so if i uh, describe the cross pin hammer the cross pin hammer is uh, a cast steel body it has a cast steel body and a wooden handle and majorly it has two parts one is the face and another is this pin so it has two parts and the pin is in the form of a narrow round edge which is used to remove the unwanted parts from the workpiece the diagram indicates the cross pin hammer there the next category is the claw hammer so as you can see uh, from the name there is the word written claw and claw is like this shape it is used for striking as well as pulling the nails from the wood so this surface is used to strike on the surface and the back surface which is shaped like a claw that is used to remove the nails from the wood and this type of hammer is called as a claw hammer and this is used for pulling out of the nails uh, and the head face is used to drive the nails and in order to pull the the nail from the surface of the wood you can use the claw end and in order to push the nail inside that uh, wooden region you can uh, use the the front part of it which is the head face then third category is mallet so mallet is that third category and mallet looks like this and this mallet is used to strike the chisel on the wooden component so chisel is one of the component which comes under the cutting tool category and uh, chisel is used to remove the material from the surface and chisel is used specifically with a hammer and that hammer is the mallet it is majorly made of hardwood and rounded or rectangular so this is an example of a rectangular mallet but in general we can see the rounded mallets also so these are the tools that we have discussed in this uh, video namely uh, these three we discussed which are the cutting tools the finishing tools and the striking tools and these tools we discussed in the first part of this same video additionally in this video we need to look at the fitting operations also so what operations are being done in the fitting shop we need to look at those operations also so number one operation is the filing operation let's say if there is a, a rust on the surface of the workpiece so we need to remove the rust from the surface of the workpiece so we need to perform the filing operation which is the first operation which is used in the fitting shop then second is measuring op operation we can measure the 
the dimensions on the object with the help of the tool that we have learnt so far. Then the marking operation, we can scribe on the surface with the help of a scribber or what we can do, we can uh, do the markings with the help of other tools that we have learnt so far. Then there is a punch in which uh, you can punch uh, on the surface so as to obtain either the path or so as to get an idea of where in the drill can be placed. Then sawing operation, we can use hacksaw or power driven saws in order to uh, cut the material. So this is sawing is a cutting operation. And lastly, the filing operation. In this filing operation, we can remove the unwanted portion. So if once we have cut the component, so after cutting the component, what we can do, we can file the extra burrs on the surface so that it gets smoothened up. So this is the last operation that can be performed in the fitting shop. So these are the basically the operations which are used in the fitting shop. With this, we come to the end of the second part of the video, which is basics of fitting operations in which we learnt certain categories of the fitting tools and also we have learnt the fitting operations. For conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.